My name is Jacob Onyango. I work in the Kenya Police Service. I'm based at Central Police Station. I'm there, I serve the deaf population. You know, they come in as a complainant. They can also come in as the accused persons, or they also come in as, as witnesses. So whichever way they come, we, they find me at the station and I handle their matters. Corporal Jacob Onyango is not your ordinary field officer. At his base station, at the Central Police Station, his desk remains dedicated to serving those who have been for years silenced by the country's justice system. Jacob is the only officer in Nairobi who can communicate in sign language and has been stationed here specifically to cater to the needs of the deaf community in the entire area. You know, they come in uh, in different shades. They can come in as uh, complainants. They can also come in as the accused persons or they also come in as, as witnesses. His is a calling that I only get to understand when I begin the day at his residence here in Nairobi. The father of one has a busy schedule, which begins with having breakfast with his family before changing to his official police uniform. I usually go to, to the basilica. And uh, at the Holy Family Basilica, there is the, the priest in, cha in charge of special communication. He's, he's from Mexico, all right, Father Joseph. He's, uh, he's also the interpreter at the, the basilica. So he once told me, like, Jack, you see, your motto in the police is uh, service to all. But there's a segment of the society which you are not serving, and it's quite a big percentage, the deaf. It was a challenge that he accepted. Jacob is one among just four police officers who dutifully took up the call to learn the Kenyan Sign Language back in 2013. The sign language uh, uh, course took um, 18 months. It was an opportunity that would help fill the gap for the deaf community who had previously struggled to report crime, record statements, or answer to charges in court. As he heads to work, Jacob knows only too well the heavy load he has to bear. Remember there is even slang, sheng ya, ya sign language in honoring his call of service to all. To this day, he remains the only officer who understands sign language in the whole of Nairobi and its neighboring counties of Machakos, Kiambu, and Kajiado. When I go and live, uh, it is a, a challenge. It is a challenge. The persons with the uh, uh, hearing impairment, they have now to rely on the civilian interpreters. Estimates indicate that there are at least 2.5 million deaf persons in Kenya, with close to half of that number residing in urban centers like Nairobi. By the time Corporal Jacob Onyango reports to his workstation at the Central Police Station, about 10 individuals are in line waiting for his services. It's a minute number of people if you consider the influx of humanity who walk to this particular station every day to report one form of crime or another. But that insignificant number cannot overlook the significance of the services of Jacob, especially to the deaf community in Kenya. One man who understands that significance is Patrick Hagoi, who has been patiently waiting for Jacob to arrive at his workstation. He has come here to do a follow-up on a civil complaint he made with Jacob a while back. If there was a, a no interpreter here, and there will be a problem with the police when it comes to interpretation. Jacob also helps the deaf to communicate during court cases where he attends as a sign language interpreter. His prayer is that more servicemen and women will take up sign language classes in order to cater for the deaf and help ease the burden of serving in silence. When deaf persons met the police, the only way of communication was you write a piece of paper, you give out, and that, is, uh, that wasted a lot of time. 
But now the deaf persons have an interpreter who is a police officer who does that interpretation very fast and it saves on time. Sometimes it's tough. There's so much. Sometimes it's so tough. There's so much, but then you have to serve because somebody has to do it. And God has made me there to do it. And the Inspector General has given me that opportunity to serve. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.